What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Maisie Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, please, before we begin, hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Let me know that you are a citizen, a trooper, a real supporter of this channel. In addition to that, if you could hit the post notification bell. That way, anytime that I drop something new, something trending, something that may pique your interest, you will be one of the first ones to view it. Now, real quick, I just wanted to make this video, not necessarily real quick, but in a decent amount of time. Um, I know a lot of women are uh, going overboard with the plastics and the the silicons and the BBL drizzies and the and the, the fake jugs and the fake butts and the this tuck and the nose jug and this and the tummy tuck and this and that, right? So, the question is, as you've seen in the title, do men find uh, fake body parts or synthetic work on a woman's body attractive, right? So, first and foremost, let me say that I think a lot of rappers kind of made it popular because they say, oh, she got a, like, it, basically they keep uh, a brand, uh, uh, brand new ass with the same boobs and all this they, they're always talking about how <clears throat> they got them an ad, they got this, and then on top, not to mention, right, the video vixen, right, they want to shake it, and then the girls with no ass, they feel like, damn, well, what should I do? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so it's now a fad, right? Just like anything else, when something becomes a style, it starts to morph, and sometimes not for the better. So, some women... In my personal opinion, I'll say this, right? Some women, tastefully, it's cool. Straight up, it's cool. Some women. Uh, but on the other hand, when you go so far and you make yourself look like like a fucking doll or like, like a, you got your shit, like, it's not natural. You, you, big lips naturally are great they're beautiful big lips synthetically if they're over like what's reasonable for this you can tell uh, this is this is how you know if it's reasonable or not if there's not a single crease in your lips and it's just so swollen like it's tight that's not a good look if you wanted botox or whatever a little bit and plump up a little bit just a little bit to get a little bit more of a full plump look. That's cool. If it looks like it can't, like some of these women, they're going so far that there's like damn near stretch marks on their lips. Like it's, it looks retarded. Uh, I personally, I don't really know a lady, but I see a lady from time to time. She got all this plastic shit on her face and body. Bro, she looks so stupid. She looks so stupid. Like, she... Okay, so for once, she's got this fake butt. And it's not... When I tell you fake butt, it's so fake. Like, each one is like a air balloon. Like, you don't even be looking. You just see it. It's just like... Like it's crowding. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, don't get me wrong. I like thickness, juicy, all that, right? But th this is... It just, the legs don't match. You look like a damn, you look like Builder Bear was going out of business and they just threw you together when they ran out of merchandise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's not a good look the way that she looks, right? So uh, I say that to say like, yeah, dudes don't like that, right? So now check this out. Um, the lips, any, I'll put it like anything, anything in excess this is just my opinion. You can let me know what yours is in the comments. But anything in excess is like anything in excess is a little much. Even let's just say if a guy wears like a couple uh, rings, two, three rings, you know what I'm saying? A couple little pieces. Cool. Now, if you do it like Slick Rick, like it's a little bit more like shout out to Slick Rick. But just for myself, I'm like, no, nah, that's a little too much. It's not that serious. You get what I'm saying? So I can say that to say like. Anything in excess that's done overboard is not going to be smooth. So I, the same thing goes. But see, the problem with this is you can't just take it off like that easy. You got to go see a doctor. They're going to have to put you up under that knife 
slice you up, take out your butt cheeks. Uh, you know, you, and then the Botox for the lips. I heard that it makes women's lips worse off than they were in the beginning. You get what I'm saying? So it was a little bit of Botox, a little bit of cosmetic surgery. Cool for a woman. Yeah, I'd say so. Maybe if they have something that they want to work on. Let's just say, for example, let's say you got Becky. Becky, uh, she suffered from no acetal, right? She ain't got no cheeks, no butt whatsoever, right? Um. Uh, her whole life she suffered from this. This is something that she wants. Should she go get a tasteful uh, transfer of fat or something like that? If that's what she wants to do, for sure. Should she go overboard when Becky weighs 120 pounds and go overboard and uh, put something that's this that's about a foot and a half from her back out to where she can't even wipe her asshole? Nah, I, I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? If it's natural, you can tell. Natural is like, I like juicy. Don't get it twisted. I love juicy. The juicier, the better. But when it's not real and you go overboard on like a little body, or let's just say, for example, like huge ass cheeks that are fake with little ass thighs, or you look like retarded, that's not a good look, bro. You look like uh, you were just experimenting. Uh, it, like, it's just, and then. They go crazy. I feel like the more, it's like a tattoo. They'll get a little something, right? They'll get just, a, so let me just get some fillers in my lips. Bam. They'll get a little, some little Botox in their lips. All right, cool. Then they're like, oh, this is nice, girl. I like that. Mm, let me get a little bit more. Then just, boom. You feel me? Then, now they like, now they kind of like, okay, cool. Let me play around with this. Let me, let me, let me, ooh, okay. Let me, just like a tattoo. You get one, you're like, I want another one. I want this. I want a piece. I want a back piece. I want the arm. This, that, shoulders. This. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, now, she over here shooting Botox in her eyes and getting all, she looks like a damn, you ever seen Star Trek? She looks like a Klingon. You remember with all the lines in his forehead? He look. <laughs> Love to tell you a story. The reason I'm making this video, right? There's this girl that goes and smokes hookah at this place that I smoke hookah at sometimes, right? Now, this girl, she went a little crazy with the shit. When I tell you she went crazy, this girl got the little legs, right? The little legs. The ass is so huge. It Look, imagine a bat, and I'm not exaggerating. Imagine a basketball. I'm not talking about the WNBA. No, a basketball, not a kid's basketball, a full-size NBA basketball. Now, picture two of those. Naturally, it's great, right? Who wouldn't love to, you know? Now, we talking about on a body that has legs that are not much bigger than maybe my head, right? So you went crazy with that. You already look like a dumb, like, you look like a science project, right? And then you go crazy with the tits. I feel like when women do fake boobs, you got to be retarded to make that look bad. You have to be, it has to be like so huge, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's a little easier to not mess up. But when they have this little body and they don't get their, or whatever they do with the shoot the fat or whatever, you, if you're not distributing the fat in your legs, you look like a science project, okay? You look like you look like a hose with a golf ball in it. It just is so it doesn't look right. So anyway, then she got that. Then she got the fake boobs. Then she got the look. She she, she smokes the hook, right? She be like, I only think she can feel the hook on her shit. Like I don't think she can. I don't think she can feel the hook stem on her lips. They're that swollen. That there's no, I don't think the sensation is there. There, and I'm not, I, listen, I wouldn't play with you. I'm being dead serious. When I tell you this, I'm being dead serious. So, two of my thumbs, I'm not a little dude, right? So, my hands are kind of like big hands for, now I ain't gonna say big. I'm a, I'm a, not a small man, right? So, imagine two thumbs, right? The width of two thumbs is about that. Each one, now I'm not even exaggerating with you. 
And I know I my lips ain't big, but each one is literally like this. And if it was natural, smooth. Because your facial features would match with it. You get what I'm saying? It wouldn't look out of the norm or out of place, right? But it's so swollen. Imagine if your leg swelled up this big. It would be so shiny because it's not a crease in that bitch, right? Imagine if your leg swelled up this big. It would be so shiny. So just like anything else when it swells up. Let's just say you smack your finger on some shit. Your shit smells up. Or you get a spider bite and it swells up. There's not a single bit of uh, 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 slack in the skin, right? So it looks swollen. And it don't even fit. How she talk? She can't even talk. You get what I'm saying? And then, to make shit worse, she shot some shits in her eye. Her, her shit like... But it's like... It just... You look like a science project, bro. You don't look smooth. You don't look like... There's a such thing as too much. I'm not sure if you're aware. There's a such thing as too much. I just felt compelled to make this video because to all you women that feel you may be lacking in one thing or another, just remember the polar opposite of what you're dealing with is not what you want. The polar, do you want to be, have your lips so swell? Let's say a girl got skinny lips, right? Do you think that skinny lips are worse than having your face so swollen up, your the shits is so sw like they can't even talk. It's not natural. When it's natural, right? When it's natural, it's it it's all works great. When it's not natural, it doesn't. If you go a little bit, all right, cool. I've seen some that's tasteful. To like, all right, cool. I, I deal with that. When you go overboard, that's when you have a problem. It's just like uh, steroids or testosterone for men. When men go overboard with that stuff, that's when they start, uh, you know, having heart attacks. That's when they start, uh, you know, uh, uh, getting acne, uh, roid rage, these type of things. You get what I'm saying? Anything in excess. When you, uh, let, let's say you smoke cigarettes every now and you start smoking cigarettes and in excess you got lung problems this that and the third anything done in excess can't be good right so if you are struggling from one thing or another maybe a, maybe your lips are thin maybe you ain't got no ass maybe you ain't got no tits maybe you got a little gut whatever i'm not saying don't do it i'm just saying don't go so far overboard that you look like a clown because i'll be real with you when i see some women let me just show you let me let me show you before because i don't want you to misconstrue what i'm saying let me show you real quick all right, let's just use her as an example, right? Uh, you you look like a fucking monster. You look you look so sick and disgusting. Look at your face. For one, you're a woman, I, I believe. Why does your jaw look like Jay Leno? Why would you want that? For two, I get it. Women want high cheekbones, right? This is beyond high. This is a deformity that you did to yourself. All right. You see how the lips don't sit like natural and beautiful. They just sit like they sit like they just kind of look crooked and off and not like they're not comfortable. That's what she's suffering from. Right. This bro. You look disgusting. I'm sorry. You look so gross. You look like you ever seen Beauty and the Beast. You remember the lion? That's what you look like. You look like a fucking monster. Look at your face. Come on, man. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you? And I'm glad that you did that because now you're showing other women what not to do. Okay, look at this. That's too much. Why? Because it doesn't look natural. Uh, I don't even know if this is a man or a woman, to be honest with you. It looks like a damn trans Jeezy, but whatever the situation, that's too much. Okay, this right here. That's too much. Why? Because you look like a fish. You look like you belong sitting on the ice in the Pike Place Market. Okay? You look like you're, you're Nemo. You, you belong in the aquarium. Why? Because it doesn't match your face. It. Look at this. Do you see how it's still... This is how you can tell it's fake. I mean, obviously, anybody can tell, but... You see how it's still plump on the bottom right here? And it's so swollen, it's like there's no room for a crease... That's how you can tell it's fake. I mean, 
Not that you couldn't tell, right? Let me show you a couple more. Okay, see this right here? You, you look like, literally, you look like cartoon characters. These are dudes. Not sure. I'm even, I mean, I understand this is something that men do these days too, but come on, man. You, you guys look sick. For one, why on earth would you make your face three feet long? Look at your chin. It looks like a ball sack. It's disgusting. Like, seriously, look at this. Come on, man. Okay, so if you're going to do it, right? If you're going to do it, this is probably more of the results that are reasonable that you want, right? You see how it's not a huge, subtle change. It's just still subtle. She still looks smooth. There's no uh, extreme facial deformities. Now, in the before and after, you could still see on the one on the right, look at the lips. There's no creases. On the one on the left, there's creases, right? That means that, yeah, okay, there's a little bit of, you know, additive in there, but it's not over the top. All right, now you see homegirl right here? This is okay. This is smooth. It's moderate. It's not too much. There's no crease. She got her creases out, but at the end of the day, she's still in a state of looking human, okay? She looks decent. Okay, this is the type of stuff that you want to do. Okay, you see homegirl right here? It's a little bit, you know, she got a little bit in there, but it's not extreme. You see what I'm saying? This one, not extreme. Just got rid of a couple creases, no big deal, right? So why are you, look at the lip. Their, her lips are more full, but she's not looking like a clown. She just looks like a regular human being, right? This is what you should be doing, right? If you're going to do it. Now, women. Do I think that you should do it? I mean, that's a personal decision for you, right? This is a decision that you have to make. But please, don't run around looking like a uh, damn Beauty and the Beast. Looking like uh, Mufasa. You seen that lady with the... Like, bro, why, why, why would you do that to yourself? Why? You feel what I'm saying? Like... And I get it. Some of these girls, they do, they look online, whatever, and then maybe they feel like, bro, you look like a dumbass. You look like a fucking science project. You look like a science project. You you look like I just threw a whole bunch of, bo hey, you ever seen that movie Weird Science? Imagine with Chet and all that, they create the girl. I'm old, so that's all my movies are old. Imagine <clears throat> if they did that and it turned out a little, oh, yeah. like, bro, you look so stupid. And then you, especially with this, come on, man. You look so dumb, bro. Like, why would you think that looks good? I, I wish someone could, I wish you, anybody who does that, right? Anybody who goes so extreme. I wish you, before you had any of that, could look at someone like that and someone ask you, well, what do you think about this? They're gonna say, bro, that person looks like damn Lion King. That person looks like a science project. You feel me? That's my thoughts. So women, and even if it's men, right? If you, if you wanna do this type of stuff do people find it attractive in moderation yes i'm sure they do right if you have a an ailment like maybe you have uh some situation that requires it or maybe your self-confidence goes down about one thing or another yeah sure go ahead and do that but when you are bloating your face with chemicals that swell parts of your face as big as it like literally and I'm not exaggerating you've seen homegirl as big as an egg you went too far no man finds that sexy no man finds that sexy dudes when you put trust me you go to La Jolla you see a lot of this these days a lot of these dudes and not even not even homo -seasies. regular dudes they're doing this I mean it's a little questionable but whatever the situation they're doing this the girls find that track look at no disrespect to Sly Stallone, Sylvester Stallone. I don't know if you guys have seen him lately, but he does this. And, and I'm not trying to bear Sly. I like Sylvester Stallone, but he does this. And he looks like, a, if you look at his face now, look at his younger, he looks hella retarded, bro. He looks silly. Anyway, man, that's my thoughts on this, man. I got to go ahead and get to it. Do men find that sexy or attractive in moderation, in extreme moderation? Yeah. Overboard? Hell no. You look like a science project, bro. You look like someone created you in a lab and went wrong. Come on, man. Anyway, that's my video, man. I appreciate you for watching. You let me know what you think about it in the comments. Do you like when women do this and go overboard and look like a science project? Do you like when dudes, girls, do you like when men, 
I, me, I feel like it's a little shaky if they go a little bit. Maybe that's a personal decision. If they go overboard to me, that's a little shaky. That's my personal opinion. What's yours? I appreciate you for watching. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe and that like. Salute. Have a great afternoon. I'm gone.